The keyboard is not working at all. I guess. Uh, oh no, it just started to work uh, right now. I unplugged it. No. It's a bit awkward because okay. last year we had different stuff. You're gonna get a notification that there's some kind of audio device installed. I don't think it's like tight okay. or yeah, just feel like While the setup is still running, we have another $25 donation from Kira. It will be Handsome Jack. And also a $30 donation of Honorable J. Along with these two donations, now the character name Bitwar is becoming really interesting because I'm a Batman and Handsome Jack are now tied at $60 with Kanjo again following up at $47. And I also return here, yes, Kanjo! I also am happy to tell you that both the character name and the color of the car will be rolling in centers. That means that whenever we see a name or a color being more than five dollars in the lead, then we will change it within reason. So you can snipe back and forth and we'll wait for the end of the snipe and then we'll change it. Just so that you can have your fun with this. Is that a good news or is that good news, huh? And while it looks like we're getting even closer to ready to go by the minutes, I still see some tech guys jumping back and forth behind the streaming PCs trying to fix stuff, which is entirely normal. They all seem extremely nervous and uh, pressured for everything. Um, oh yeah, Feli, uh, that's true. My profile will need some kind of in it, but at the moment I've only got the Twitch account to sort of like mod this chat here a little bit and talk with you but anyway yeah the tech guys are looking very pressured trying to find the correct cables in their large mess of cables trying to make everything work the way it should although you already are seeing stream picture and stuff I think the only thing missing kind of is the sound <coughs> um yeah I guess everything will be okay. It should be alright. I, I just try to like face jump to do uh, like small tricks. <laughs> what? <laughs> well. I uh, I don't need good quality option. Uh, good quality audio. I get. Sound is just useful for small moments. What? Oh. In case you're wondering what the issue is, so the speaker what you're doing? of the PC are getting into the microphone. Uh, I'm fine. Alright, uh, it seems like they fixed the last technical problems and I'm proud to give you another three more donations, namely $5 from Hamachiro saying good luck to everyone at ESA. Go Incolex, I'm sure you can do it. Should be enough. Also, uh, don't forget to show the so best glitch, unfortunately you won't hear it at the moment. Okay. Um, the sledge okay. shotgun clip, I'm sure you won't forget. We have another $1 from Curtsy Coin. I'm Batman Hype! Also! Rosentia, are you Get listening? Uh, Hashtag uh, Doctors Without Borderlands. And we have a five dollar <laughs> donation <laughs> from nah, Tails and X. <laughs> Can we donate towards Who getting Alex that? a haircut? I don't, even know I don't no, think I don't. so.
Ah, bad luck. Uh, almost. So, as Incolex is almost ready to go, I think we'll just cut the first set of um, bid options at this very moment. We have the I'm color ready. of the car being pink and the character name to be I'm Batman. Okay, ready to go in three, two, one, go. Good luck, Efron. Okay. So maybe you want to present? Oh, uh, I don't think it will be necessary because you don't, you don't have uh, any microphone. So this is Borderlands and uh, for the character choice I'll start really fast. I'm choosing Lilith as the Siren because she has many advantages that I will explain later in the game. So first thing you can notice that might be weird is I can throw my weapon. Uh, in Borderlands 1, you can edit settings to get uh, a key binding to drop weapon. Uh, it's not on the on game options, you have to edit manually the settings files. And this will be really important later. So, I think most of people know Borderlands 2, the Borderlands 2 speedrun, and not the Borderlands 1. So, I'll try to explain mo most of things uh, according to Borderlands 2 and not to Borderlands 1. Like, uh, if you think the game is hell glitched like Borden 2, it's totally not. So we have to farm, we have to get really lucky on drops, we have to, we have to um, deal with many different situations. And mostly the game is way harder than Borden 1, uh, than Borden 2. So first I just have to follow Claptrap, nothing really special. And because these speak a lot, I'll just go away and open things. And actually there's a really funny fact. Uh, on Borderlands 1, there's challenge, like in Borderlands 2. In Borderlands 2, they gave badass point. Oh, okay. What's the save file? What? Oh, God. So I'm Batman. <laughs> Robo disagrees, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we can change the file name whenever you want. <laughs> so while Claptrap is always talking, I'm going to open containers. It's really important because, um, like in Borderlands 2, there's challenge, uh, but in Borderlands 2, they give uh, badass points. In Borderlands 1, they actually give experience. So I'm going to abuse of uh, many challenge to get uh, fast experience really early in the game. It's really important because in that game, uh, if you're missing levels, the enemy are really powerful and you deal almost no damage. So getting experience is really important. So now we'll see if I'm lucky uh, for this chest and it's perfect. So this chest has one chance out of three to get a shotgun. It can be also an SMG or a sniper. The best is always the shotgun because we're going to play a lot with the shotgun in this game. And it's really good one. I'm really lucky right now. So far, really so good. So this, this shotgun is really good because it has two ammo, so it means it has more damage. So, as you can see, I'm not playing the game normally. Like, I'm always throwing the weapon and pick it back up. So like in Borderlands 2, if you throw the weapon and pick it back up, it's fully loaded. And also abuse uh, of this to fire faster because some shotguns are like really slow between two shots uh, like that. It takes a lot of time. I can also throw the weapon between two shots to, be, to fire faster. So what I do is I also take the time between uh, two triggers of Claptrap to open more containers. I need to open 50 containers at a precise moment because uh, it will be important for me to hit level 5. Uh, the important thing with level 5 is it unlocks the um, action skill. Uh, for Lilith it's the phase walk which is a huge uh, speed boost for like 5 seconds. And also I can't die during that time so it's really useful. Almost. 
Almost. I almost one shot everyone because of the damage of that shotgun. Normally I play almost with shotguns, but the handgun is kinda useful sometimes because it's really accurate. The shotguns in this game are really, really inaccurate. So now there's a huge cutscene where Claptrap talk and Dr. Z will talk. So I use that time to open most the most container possible. Okay. So during that jump, there's two containers I can open. I just got one, but it's okay. It, uh, I'm not at one container. Um, some containers are pretty RNG. Okay, I'll get a quest. There you go. Now I open this, and I save warp. So I'm going to do a lot of those save warp for one reason. First, it reset containers, which allows me to open those 50, con 50 containers really fast. The second thing is it also, well, bring me back to where I want. So those save warps, there's like more than 50 in the run, maybe, maybe more actually. We're going to use that a lot just to warp faster, things like that. Thanks for opening her up again. So again, there's a trigger here for five trap during the time we talk. I can open things here and take the money because getting money is interesting in this game. I will have to use a lot the vending machine. And now I'll try to not mess up with that trigger. That trigger is kinda uh, messy. So now Claptrap moved. What I'm going to do now is I'm shooting that uh, cave here. It can um, like wake up some it, it can wake up some skags, and my quest right now is to kill five skags, so they will come near me earlier. That's bad. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Um, so right now, if I did it well, uh, like right now, as you can see, there's two skags uh, right now on the door. Normally they come really late, but shooting that cave actually helps. Would you kindly give him a hand? So now there's two skags, and I kind of grow like two more later. Press Ruka Clap Trap. And I'll wake up the skags. So th the handgun is kind of inaccurate, so I can't really shoot them far away. Last one. Perfect. So now, normally Clap Trap is opening the door. I don't. I don't want to wait that, so I just say warp. And I'll go back near Z and turn in the quest. And open things again. I can take what's in. Oh, there's nothing. Interesting. So now the quest is just to take the power coupling. Um, I'm just going to use that to try to shoot some skag pals there, if there's any. There it can be there there can be like two skag files and there can be none. The better the the more they are the better it is. So as you can see right now I just <coughs> when I go back to Z it's way faster to just save warp. The timing in the game you doesn't use real time but uh no loads because uh loading times on this game are really inconsistent. Uh the world record holder of this game, uh Pentalex has the slowest loadings of all the runners. He has like maybe 10 minutes more than me of loadings. So we don't take the the loading times. So that's why uh, save warping is really, really interesting. It's like just moving fast without using any time. So again, for the challenge now, um, this challenge for doing some kill strike, uh, just killing enemies with only seven seconds between two kills. So, the one I'm going to do right now is 10 kills, so I have to kill 8 bandits, and I just kill 2 skags, so it's perfect. So now I, I have to make sure I kill enemies fast enough. Within 7 seconds of his other right? Yeah, it's 7 seconds, 7 seconds. It's not like I have to kill all of them within just 7 seconds. Yeah. Oh my god, stop moving. This is bad. Oh god. So I think I felt the glitch. Well, I failed the shannon. It's not a problem, I can save it later. But I will not hit level 5 whenever I want. 
Normally I should get Chain Killer. The good thing is I can do it later, so the moment where I really need level 5, I will be level 5. It's just that right now I should have the level 5 to use the phase wall and move faster. I won't be able to do that. So I buy 4 items to do the challenge. As you can see, I've got challenge completed impulse buyer and I got challenge completed what's in there. This is the container challenge. If I got chain killer right now, I should have the phase walk and I should be already almost at TK Baja, but it's not a problem. It just slowed down the, the, um, the run for like 30 seconds. Considering the amount of RNG in this game, 30 seconds is literally nothing. <laughs> Um, about the game itself, the world record is by Pentalex, it's um, with loading times it's about 2 hours and 5 minutes and without loading times it's uh, 1 hour and 49 minutes. My PB is actually 2 hours and 10 minutes and if you wonder why the estimate is 2 hours and 50 minutes, uh, the, the answer is pretty simple, it's because of RNG. Many things can mess up the game, uh, and everything can go really, really bad. So now I'm going to bring those skags uh, near the other spawn of skags right there, to make sure I will have 10 enemies, and I'll kill all of them when they're uh, pretty much well stacked. Uh, this run can be, uh, well, pretty much it can be about one hour, uh, two hours, and if everything, that's if everything goes well. Well, my estimate time is two hours and fi 50 minutes because I prefer to be safe. Like, if I get the usual trolls, this can go really bad. Yeah, things can go wrong really easily. <laughs> it can go wrong really fast. Okay, so what I did when I finished the phase work right now is a trick called the phase jump. Okay, um, really fast save warp. So we go back to Firestone, the town. We have to buy um, grenades. So instead of just walking back to the town, I'm directly to the town right now. It's way faster. And we don't wait the door to be open. Let's just jump. It's faster too. Now I have the grenades, and I can face walk as I wish. So the other trick I try to do all, uh, all the time when I f when I'm near the end of the phase jump, the phase walk is called a phase jump. Um, that trick is actually you try to cancel your phase walk and jump at the same frame, and that gives you like a jump with uh, the phase walk speed boost. So it's basically you just extend the phase wall for about half a second. It helps, but it's not really mandatory. It's like a really, really small time saver. It's better than nothing. It's always better than nothing. It's fun to do, but if I fail it out, it's still okay. I don't. I really don't mind. Yeah. One of the runners of this game, um, he's called Jato. Actually, don't do the phase jump at all, just because it, it can't pull pull them off correctly. And he said, it just it's so minor, like it, it almost saved no time. So you know, it don't care. You don't do them. One question: Is there any connection between Borderlands One and Borderlands Two in the So, um, for the connection between Borderlands One and Borderlands Two, well. In Borderlands 2, you see elements of Borderlands 1 that links pretty well the game. I mean, in terms of places, but it's near the end of Borderlands 2. But it's mostly, uh, well, the charters we play right now are key charters in Borderlands 2, and they are the ones that pretty much start all the story of Borderlands 2 okay, as well. It's like. Uh, I don't want to spoil the story, <laughs> but uh, but basically, all the events that that happen right now are basically what starts 
uh, the story, the beginning of the story in Borderlands 2. Stop moving. Perfect. Did I have, a, did I have my shotgun? I don't want to die. Uh, uh, I don't have my shotgun, so I have to die. That sucks. So the bad thing is, uh, I really need my shotgun. I must not lose it, and I was down before I could uh, take it back. So it's kind of bad. Yeah. I'm losing maybe a minute. Yeah, the story are connected. You don't have to play. Oh wow, mouse, please! <laughs> you don't. You don't have to play the first game to really understand the second game. Like the second game, pretty much sum up the uh, the context really well. So it's okay. But I think the first one is still cool to play. It's really good. Obviously, the second one was uh, better for many things uh, in terms of like gameplay, but it's okay. The first one is really awesome too. So right now, this is one of my favorite uh, phase jumps that I just held, because this one uh, is actually one of the longest jumps you can do with the phase jump. So it's one phase jump that makes you thinking it's worth it, because this one lasts maybe one second. Okay, so now I go back to Zed, and I'll start one of the, one of the most annoying quests and do one of the m most funny <laughs> tricks in the game. So, um, I like to do some shoutouts. Uh, my first shoutout will be for Pentalex because he's maybe the main runner of this game. He's the world recorder there. Not for nothing because he really farmed the game a lot. <laughs> but he deserves the shoutouts. And the second shoutout will be for Jato, who made like maybe the whole work uh, in terms of routing the game yeah uh, he's like he's the one who made like 99% of the route and we just helped him by finding new tricks things like that so Jato who stopped running this game sadly is really the Bowdens guy yeah he also decided to use Lilith instead of Brick so yeah uh, the, the idea to use Lilith was Jato's idea, and why not Break is because Break is the character used in the SDA world record uh, video. Segmented, right? Uh, what? It's a segmented run, right? Yeah. yeah. On SDA, there's a segmented run. Um, I, f I don't remember the, the name of the one who did that. Maybe it's Shadow Dragons, something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, so the run on Izzy is a second hit run. And uh, what's the color of the car? Pink. I'm sorry. I was too fast. <laughs> I went too fast. <laughs> so pink car hype because pink is the best color. Of course. <laughs> yeah, pink is the best. It should never change. I'm kind of kind of missing the hard motif though. Okay, don't troll me. No, you troll me. Okay, it's good. Nice. So right now, to kill that boss, that boss is like level 10. And I'm level 6. So if I shoot him, I do 1 damage all the time. So it's really bad. So what I do is I take the car and kill him by running over him. It's the only way to kill him with that level. The weird thing is, actually, I use the car to kill the enemy to unlock the catcher ride and the catcher ride is the the thing that gives you cars so actually by jumping over that fence um, I could make my way uh, to the second catcher ride in the in this map and technically it's not possible but the barrier is like really weird weirdly made so I can go to the second catcher ride and the second catcher ride always works even though the first one is locked Okay, so this one, this thing right now is one of the weirdest, hardest, and inconsistent trick in the game. So I'm getting my car stuck like that, um, and the game right now thinks my car is in the air. So I hope it's okay. So I'm going to leave the car, unlock it by pushing it with a melee attack, 
and try to go into the car before it touches the ground. And no. <laughs> And if everything works correctly, um, I should have challenge completed or be achieved. This is like tier four um, challenge for um, for the air airtime of the car, and it gives um, like five thousand experience, which for me at level seven would give me an entire level. So it's it's a trick really important to do. Sadly, it's really, really inconsistent. This is the only problem with this trick, is we haven't found a way to do it, like, all the time. And <laughs> right now, it's not going well at all. <laughs> I hope... I hope you're right. <laughs> so, while you're doing this, maybe I can just read the donation that we had? Yeah, you can. Okay, so this is a, a $10 donation by Angrevo. He says, Hey Alex, I just had to donate for you during your run. Hope your run will go well and that you will get good RNG like always. <laughs> he knows that I always have bad RNG. <laughs> this is like seriously intended to troll me. <laughs> but it's Angrevo, so I understand. <laughs> Yeah, but I, he knows it's worth it. <laughs> also, we have a $62 do uh, donation by Professor Broman. Oh my god! <laughs> he says, Incalex, one day you will accept that controller is the master race for Borderlands <laughs> speedruns. <laughs> Never! <laughs> Never! Love you, man. Keep up the good work and the good runs. Also, change the name to T-Rex because you are clearly going way too fast. So, is T-Rex winning now? I think so. Okay, uh, well, whenever I can, I will change the, the file name save. Um, please, game, stop that. It's really uh, messing about right now. <laughs> that, that trick can be really, really annoying. Um, in normal attempts, we do like two or three attempts, and after that, we just reset. And well, we did have, uh, we did have in a race, uh, Pentalex and I failed that thing maybe 12 times in a row. But it was a race, so we couldn't really reset. Oh my god! This was perfect. I don't understand. I really don't understand anymore. <laughs> ah, please, Borderlands. That's exactly the kind of troll uh, that can happen, and that's exactly why this. This estimate is 40 minutes more than my PB. This is exactly the kind of thing that can happen all the time. And that can make run really, really bad. <laughs> Come on, game. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, I got nice. it! <laughs> Finally! How many tries were I don't know. I, I prefer to not six, count yeah, the tries <laughs> anymore. <laughs> It can be so much. So as you can see, this trick is really inconsistent, and the fact that it worked right now was kind of amazing because, uh, as you saw, I got the challenge without touching the ground, which means when I touch the car, I actually touch the ground for like one frame or something like that. So I was just <laughs> lucky enough to go and enter the car before touching that frame. This is not even the right way to do it, actually. But it worked, so <laughs> that's what matters. You found uh -huh. a right, well, yeah? What's your question? Like, what is the most important thing to learn if you want to learn speed on this thing? It's not a hard trick, actually. It's just really inconsistent. Like, uh, J2, Pentalex and I can't pull off that trick consistently and that trick is well known since a really long time. Like, uh, I think J2 ran that game since more than a year and he still can't do that trick consi consistently. So I'll blame the marathon luck for this. <laughs> it's totally marathon luck. Uh, also, another marathon luck thing is uh, you saw that I checked the vending machine that gives ammo uh, already three times. 
I need a grenade mode called Bouncing Betty's, and I still don't have it, which is kind of bad luck right now. I still have one more try to do it without farming it. Um, well, your question was like... You mean, what's the most... Uh, most important thing to learn, I think, is just being able to deal with the RNG. Um, well, it's all about movement and doing the right things at the right moment, I would say. But it, it may sound dumb, but it uh, actually makes sense because this game is a lot of RNG and it's mostly using your skill um, when you can save your life. I guess so. I, I think the, the most important thing is mostly dealing with the RNG. Okay, so I got the Conveyor of Death. Uh, the Conveyor of Death is doing 25 kills uh, with only 7 seconds between each kill. Uh, this is a pretty hard trick and the spawn of the game can kind of troll it because I can have like two Skag that spawns with 10 seconds between them. And that's really, really annoying. <laughs> If that happens, it's just you don't get the change and you have to do the backup strat. Well, the only abuse in this game is mostly uh, the drop and reload. So you just drop the weapon and take it back up to reload the weapon. I guess the, the farming could also count as... Like yeah. the saving and then farming XP could also be an abuse. Um... Well, yeah, you can farm. Oh, perfect RNG. Got the bouncing Betty. <laughs> so I have to change the name. I forgot. Yeah, and there's a, a particular way to write it. So this is T E A. T E. Ah. T -E -A? Can you spell? Can you spell it in uh, French, Kanjo, please? Because I always mess up with letters in English. I'm sorry. Just like tea, the drink. And Rex W R E X. R E X. Like that? Like that. Uh, X. Like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, so. Um, as I said, I got the bouncing bitty. Uh, so this is a green mod that I really need for the nearby farm. So in this game, uh, because of the how level works and uh, how uh, the the fact that I don't have any glitches to just like have infinite ammo or shoot really fast because of that I really need to farm levels because I pretty much kill every enemy the normal way so I'll have to farm a lot uh, experience because right now my uh, main quest is to um, kill Sledge but he's level 17 I'm level 10 uh, so if I go right now, even with criticals, I will deal just 2 damage. It's really not possible to kill him like that. So right now, I just took um, the... Um, I took a skill called Slayer. <laughs> forgot to equip the shield. This, the skill uh, called Slayer is actually um, a critical bonus damage. And I'll abuse of that a lot because the next enemy is the enemies in that area actually have an increased uh, critical damage like every enemy normally should take uh, just 200 percent damage but those enemies have like 500 percent damage when you do criticals so what I do is I just throw grenades and I try to hope it, it touched the eye and like that I can kill them pretty much instantly and right now it's a perfect toss. It's a perfect granite toss. So normally what I should do right now is to save warp so the enemies are back again. Uh, the problem is in Borderlands, if I do things too fast, uh, if I load my save and like want to quit uh, within 30 seconds, the game won't save. So it's kind of sad in a uh, speedrun, but I literally have to waste time to be sure the game's save. 
Did the game don't save, I, I just lose time. Sorry. I was thinking like, uh, yesterday when we talked to Meridian, he said something about, uh, you talked to him about when it comes to the car, and there was some kind of car abuse that you could use. The, the car abuse is yeah. way later, so I, I explained that okay. when I will uh, need to. Okay. Yes, I got level 11. I take Quicksilver, which increase uh, fire rate. It's kind of important. Because uh, the thing I really want is um, to do as much damage as possible. And I'll just uh, use the fact that I have my uh, phase walk recharged, uh, refreshed to go to that chest and hope for good loot. And it's, it's kind of good. It's not exactly what I want, but it will help me. <coughs> So now, um, this farm right now will continue until uh, level 16. Oh, no, I don't want a sniper, please. So I have to kill that first batch of crabs uh, that way until level 12. And now when I will hit level 12, I'll actually uh, use the phase wall to go to the over chest as I did. And I'll farm the chest to hope to get a good shotgun. The shotgun I aim for is at least 250 damage. Okay, good enough. Uh, 250 damage is just the right amount of damage to, ki to be able to kill Sledge without running out of ammo. I have 80 shells, like shotgun shells, but it's still not enough. It's not enough to kill Sledge with a normal shotgun. So I really need a powerful weapon. Okay. So if there's donation, I think you have the time <laughs> now. Yep, but there's no donation, so I will just um, make a recap of the, um, the incentive that we have. So there's the character name Bidwall, which is actually T-Rex is winning with six, 62 dollars. Then we have I'm Batman with $61 and Handsome Jack with $60. And finally, we have Kanjo again with $47. So you can still uh, donate for this uh, bid wall because uh, Inkalex can change the name every time. And also we have the, the color of the car, which is between pink, red, black, yellow, brown, blue, green, and orange, and currently Pink is winning with $37, and the second one is red with uh, $15. Pink must win, obviously. Pink <coughs> hype. Pink hype. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now the next, the next grenade uh, should help me, should give me exactly the, the experience I need to hit level 12, which means I'll just throw my grenades and go to the chest now. And hope to get uh, good RNG. So as I said, I'll just need to get a shotgun that deals 250 damage. Okay, my grenades were pretty bad. It's okay, I can still throw grenades here and hope for the level. Thank you. So now I have a second phase walk because when you level up, uh, your action gets refreshed instantly. And I got a broken launcher, which is exactly what I don't need. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. You say this has a lot of RNG in it. Is it the same thing in Borderlands 2? Um, in Borderlands... Well, it's kind of the same thing in Borderlands 2, because in Borderlands 2, um, what you need is actually... Um, well, a good shotgun, like in Borderlands 1, except in Borderlands 2, you want, it, you want to get it uh, on the vending machines. Uh, here... The only way to get a really good shotgun is actually to farm those two chests and there's really no other way. I need to get rid of the shotgun, of the fractal launcher. So normally I do almost the whole... Come on, die! <sighs> okay. Crabs are trolling me. So normally I use only shotgun, but for those enemies, that SMG is pretty good. I just have to aim the eye of the enemy and it deals uh, really awesome damage. So it's a really good thing to have. Normally you don't have to get that SMG but it's a really good backup strat and it helps a lot for that farm. 
But as soon as I hit level 13, uh, I can have I can use a different shotgun, and that shotgun will pretty much one shot every crab if I do a critical hit. Even if those enemies are level 15, um, with the level 13 and a better shotgun, I can one shot those enemies. So that's why we farmed especially those enemies. So now, please, RNG. Well, at least I got a good shield. It's still a good thing. <laughs> so we have a $15 donation by Volagin, who says, Incorex, great job on this casual playthrough so far. <laughs> 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 Everything has been going your way, and the car flip was practically perfect. Really looking forward to more relaxing, casual, fun farming crabs and skags, and more crabs. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Volagin. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> so, uh, one thing I got in the chest earlier was a level, ah, come on, a level 13 shotgun. Uh, that shotgun will be exactly what I need to kill those crabs faster than usual, like faster than right now. That means I can farm my experience way faster, and I got my level, which means I have a second phase walk which is perfect. So now the only thing I really need is an insane shotgun, which is something that is totally not happening right now. Blame the RNG. So equip the new shot. Oh my god. That's not what I want. And this shotgun, this shotgun has exactly um, 201 damage. Well, no, it's actually more, but it's not enough. So meanwhile, we have a $5 donation by Reiko. He says, here's something to read during the XP uh, grind fest. Des bisous de la France. So kisses from France. French runners are the best runners. <laughs> I don't know if we are the best runners, but in terms of luck, <laughs> we always have the worst one. I think someone right behind me knows that pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the guy right there is the guy that always brings the whole bad luck. And that's also why they try to get uh, the save file, the, the save name, uh, Kanjo again. Because I did actually run that game only two times with Kanjo in as a file name and those two times were the only times where my run was over three hours that means worst RNG ever you know that's why I sit in right next to you just so you're gonna get that yeah <laughs> Cursed Doll is here for the good luck yeah. and, Air, and S is here for the skill yeah. so. I'm just here for watching <laughs> <laughs> please no I need you what for? <laughs> So, I'm still trying to kill all the enemies and not just focus on the, the chest because, well, leveling up is what takes the most time. So, it's still the m priority thing. Okay. Okay, I'll take that as a good enough shotgun for Sledge. That means if the farm, if the shotgun farm is not going well, this will be what I use. It's 242 damage. It's not exactly what I need, but it's good enough. So, well, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. And good luck for this. I have this. I need to get rid of that weapon. Okay, the good thing is it's fast enough. So, to shoot faster, what I do is, it's kind of the same thing as uh, drop and reloading, except I do it between each shot. Um, I just drop my weapon and pick it back up and shoot once because the time between two shots is well slower than the time I need to drop the weapon and pick it back up and be able to shoot. In Borderlands 2 that's not something you can do because they added something, uh, a, a small time, like when you pick up a weapon you actually have to wait about 
two seconds, something like that, to be able to shoot again. Uh, wow, my RNG for chess nice for shields are <laughs> awesome. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, something in chat. <laughs> I can't read the chat at the same time, so. If that's an interesting question, then I'll realize. Okay, I'm counting on you. So now it's just focusing on killing the enemies. I will stop opening chests. It should be way enough. Well, I hope. <laughs> So those crabs and oh my god, this is exactly what I don't want. So this is what makes Spawners 1 hard. It's just the fact that um, you can't pick back up your weapon if uh, you're down. Like, uh, you, you need to kill enemy and get the, the second win. So it, this is really annoying because I'm dropping my weapon all the time. That means if I drop the weapon, I can't pick it back up. I have no weapon anymore and I have to kill enemies with melee attack and if, if that happens uh, during a boss fight it's pretty much I'm dead so I really need to take care about my health and the enemies all the time otherwise well <laughs> I lose a lot of time because pretty much all the time if I die and my weapon is on the ground I will just uh, quit without saving and load the save, which means all the time uh, used uh, since the last loading is purely lost. <sighs> so crabs love going into the ground exactly when I want to kill them. I, I don't know if it's on the the enemy script, but it feels like it is. Come on, he was, was going. There was a nice comment like uh, Borderlands One is. Uh, about to kill as many crabs as possible can. <laughs> well, for the first part, it, it is. For me, it's maybe the only downside of Borderlands 1, in, uh, between Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2, is Borderlands 1 involves farming enemies. So this is the farming thing that you have been talking about? This is only the first part of the farming. There's free farm in the game. Okay. Uh, this is one of the longest, of, uh, so it's a good thing. The other farms are on bosses, so it's actually way harder than just shooting like that. This is really good. So, there, there will be two more farms. Um, the second one is, uh, it should be 15 minutes long, except if, well, RNG again. It can be maximum 20 minutes. If you could say in like roughly a percentage, how much would you say is RNG in this game? It's like, it feels like it's shit uh, loads. In terms of percentage, I'd Pre Like say. over 90% or what? It could be over 90% actually. Like, like that, like <laughs> what happened right now is quite amazing. Like I it's had three enemies near me. It, is it a, that has never happened before thing? No, the good thing is I ran that game since a long time. So I got pretty much all the bad things uh, we maybe should, we should maybe we should remove Kanye from this seat. <laughs> 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 I kind of agree, but that would be mean. <laughs> You're banned from the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Oh, <sighs> come on. Meanwhile, we have a ten dollar donation by Mortal Max. He says, "Hey, good luck on the rounds. Everyone's hair is looking great, especially S." <laughs> That sounded almost like ass instead of S. It's a common joke. <laughs> oh, oh, <okay>. seriously? <laughs> I did not know that. Ah, S is the best. Thank you. I would disagree and say you are the best. I will disagree and say RNG is the best. <laughs> are you only saying that because he's playing right now? Ah, it should have been SNG. <laughs> SNG. <laughs> So, um, I still didn't answer your question about the amount of RNG in this game. Well, I can't say uh, really 90%, but um, what I can say is 90% of the time lost is 
RNG most of the time, except if I'm really doing bad. But yeah, most of the time, 50% of, uh, no, 90% of the time loss is purely because of RNG. Come on. That's not enough. Oh yeah, it's perfectly enough. So now that I'm level 16, I can go back to, well, things you want to see, aka the real run. Yay. So Maybe. your grind were only to get to level 16? Yeah, that's that's the only point of this farm. Okay. This is the fastest way to get level 16. So that was the goal. That was exactly the goal. Okay. Come on, face jump, please. So now I can go back to uh, well the main quest, and I think if you wonder why this farm is so important, um, you'll have the answer pretty soon, <laughs> because the next real boss uh th the next real boss is well it can take two minutes to kill it and the yeah they want you to take your <laughs> shot yeah. off but i don't want it because it's so beautiful i made a shirt <laughs> <laughs> so the shirt i'm wearing right now uh, it's cursed doll who made it it's a really awesome shirt <laughs> but <laughs> i'm not surprised people want the shirt less because <laughs> I actually mainly stream shirtless because it's always hot at my home. It's hot now as well. So I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I don't know if maybe you can add the donation incentive for shirtless uh, if you want. Oh, you're going to make me sad. Ah, uh, it's up to you. Oh, it's up to you. It's your turn. Your body. <laughs> Sell your body. I'm to selling my stream. body, totally. And I, I have no shame about that. So, so how yeah, how much do you want? Money? How much? I don't <laughs> know. Put it on something high. So I well, well, okay. Kenjo said the right amount. So 500. 500. Let's go for this. <laughs> but I'm afraid you can like meet that goal really fast. <laughs> Come on, give us 500. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what you wanted him to keep the shirt on? Well, we have already do a lot of advertising for it, so <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, I'm really sure that at the end of the f uh, at the end of this run, I will be shirtless. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm really sure about it. Anyway, so right now I have to pick uh, the my get key. Well, that's pretty much what's written on the the screen. So here, while I'm too lazy to kill all the enemies, this is like pacifist run, except it's not really pacifist, I kill just the enemies I need to kill. Like even this enemy, I'll leave him alone. Farming experience here is not important at all, the most important thing is to go to the objective. Oh, I have another question. What, I what makes Borderlands 1 fun for you? Why, why, do you, why did you choose to speedrun this game? Well, I actually chose the game because I love that game. And, well, Borderlands 2 for me was a bit too easy. It's not that easy, there's hard tricks, but... Uh, I did some speedrun of Borderlands 2 and... I actually found it... Um, a bit, well, it's, yes, it's easy because you have that infinite ammo glitch, that uh, sh shield is reloading really fast and all the time glitch. Um, and I saw a bit of Borderlands 1 speedrun, it was when only Jato was doing the, the single segment. So uh, I was like, I want to try that. And, well, this I, I find this speedrun way harder. So that makes me loving it, besides the RNG and <laughs> the farming parts, because I know the farming parts, well, the farming parts, the problem with the farming parts is actually, it looks boring, but I think mostly for viewers, but um, you'll see that, <laughs> you'll see that for, for actually for the runner, the farming parts are kind of hard actually, because Either you have to be accurate or you have to be... Um, so basically you like the, the first one more because you feel it's more challenging? Yeah, it's exactly for that. The, the first one for me is more challenging. Is, and it, is it many that plays Borderlands 1 compared to Borderlands 2? Or uh, is it what? very few that s well speedruns it, I mean? 
You'll be surprised, but we are only two main runners of this game. Okay. Pentalex and I. There was Jato, uh, which I actually did uh, a shout out for him, but it doesn't run that game anymore. I don't know why, but Jato, if you're watching, please come back. <laughs> and if you come back, please break Pentalex world record. Just for me, please so do So that it. is crazy good, you mean? Well, I think if someone can break Pentalex in one try, that would be Jato, because Jato is really amazing on this game. Do you know why he quit? Um, I don't exactly know why like he quit. Like he got tired of the game or something? I think it's like mostly he didn't have the time to run it anymore. Okay. But I hope he'll be back. Um, so yeah, there's only two really active runners right now, so it's Pentanex and I, and uh, there was one more runner uh, called Peach Waldo, which is also um, a runner of Borderlands 2. He was supposed to come at ESA, but he, he had to drop out, Do uh, they sadly. usually call him only for Peach? Because I saw in the chat someone named someone Peach. Um, I don't well, know if it was him. Some people just say Peach because it's faster, but uh, mm. I'm not sure. I, I can't really tell. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, oh no, the wall pushed me. Any time to read a donation? Well, yeah, right now. So we have a $10 donation by LOL Cork. He says, this is my favorite Let's Play event. Let's hope for some better RNG. <laughs> I think this run will be not a speed run, but <laughs> let's play. Okay, so this is a small skip that we do. And this is a second skip. Okay, I got it. Is there a lot of skips in this game? There's not that much skips, except, well, I think it's <laughs> maybe the major skip in the game and it's, it saves like one minute. Are they h hard to learn? No, this, this skip is pretty easy. Um, the problem with this skip is actually, if I die on Sledge, I I have to do this, this skip again. If I messed it up, um, I had a, another save point and there would be something that didn't glitch. But by doing this, the barrier actually glitched and I can't, I can't come back normally. Uh, wow, I have low health. Could you come back? Could you come here, please? Okay, I'll kill him. So that's the problem during that fight is Sledge is pretty powerful and I have to deal with the over enemies and I have to deal with the hammer attack. Come closer please, perfect. And I mostly have to deal with my health because people are shooting at me at the same time. Weren't you saying like yesterday when we talked to Meridian that like when you're on the last boss you will have such big level difference that it's going to take a long time before you kill him. Um, because it it's going to be so hard. It's going to be hard, but it won't take too much time because we we will use grenades to help that a lot. Mm -hmm. I will not have enough ammo. I should have tried to get a better shotgun. So this will go to hard strats, which means I will try to get really close and deal maximum damage. I think I'll die. Aww. Aww. And... <sighs> damn. <laughs> Is there anyone that plays this game as co-op? Um, well, about co-op... We really still have to need to do that. <laughs> so about the co-op, there's one good person that can talk about it. Yes? Well, we've Finally. We've uh, done oh, one you have the microphone? Yeah. Yeah, we've done one co op run once with uh, Inkalex, Pentalex, me, and Jato. And now no, we're not Jato, uh, Abba Bob. Abba Bob. Um, uh, but like, they were the only two, like, he, him and Pentalex were the only two person who knew what to do. Uh, but there was like single, sa single player strats as well, so it was basically blind. And we've been saying to each other, like, When's co-op? When's co-op? When are we going to do more co-op runs? Uh, it never happens, but it's on our to-do list. <laughs> uh, how how does it go when you play co-op? Do you like? Um, how can you can you abuse 
that you play with others? Like, can you help each other if someone is dying or how does uh, it yeah, work if compared someone to goes single down, player? Like, he just went down while fighting Sledge and he was trying to kill a guy um, in order to not die. If, if you kill a guy while you're down, um, you respawn, yeah, like I know you go that. back up. Yeah. Uh, but like someone else can um, help you up, so you don't have to kill anyone. So, uh, so that, like that might have player. that might have helped him uh, on that fight just now. Um, other than that, there's that's a shotgun which um, uh, you can use to boost other players forward. But uh, that's kind of slower than Lilith's face walk still. I killed the last enemy, so I'll be pretty much safe if he wants to. Oh my god! Don't come here. Okay, come closer. Okay. So the good thing is there's a. Oh, why did you use that? Like in this case. <laughs> no. Yeah, you just had to give up. If this was co-op, then there would be someone else who could help him. Yeah. yeah. How many can you be in a co-op? Uh, four. So yeah, actually the problem with co-op is there's not good tricks or things to use that makes the game faster yeah. than single player. So it's more like if you want to be lazy you do co-op co -op and it gets easier than playing solo mode. Yeah, I guess like Lilith still uh, carries like a lot because she's so much faster than all the others in the running. Yeah. I guess Brick could somewhat keep up to her uh, using a glitch, but... <coughs> okay, so I have no weapon, so aiming for that trick will be quite annoying without crosshairs. Okay, that's good. So, now that there's no more enemy to Sledge, I should be okay as long as he doesn't use his shotgun, because Sledge shotgun is exactly the weapon I want. So that's... Oh, it was behind me. Okay, so come closer, but first destroy his shield. He has like two moves, right? So Slater only has two moves. Uh, the first one is use the shotgun. And the second one is... I think I feel like there's another enemy. Yes, you are. I won't kill you. <sighs> okay, enemies respawn. This is not a good thing at all. Okay, so... Okay, you moved. How fully? Because I was going to say that if he didn't move, this was a perfect troll because that would mean I can't get my second win. So, uh, I survived the hammer attack just because of that thing. And, okay, the over enemy is not attacking me, so now I'm pretty much safe. I'll just hide so Slade will come nearby so I deal more damage with the shotgun. Does his shield ever recharges if you don't attack him? Uh, his shield, yeah, it's exactly like that. Okay. As long as attacking, I'm safe for the shield. This is not going well at all, please! You're having bad luck. Yeah. Well, I am already low on ammo and sledge. <laughs> How are you? Okay, the enemy is right behind that thing. <laughs> this is really a joke! <laughs> The game is trolling you. I think I can say it now, that never happened before. <laughs> okay. Is that a Seriously. Person? Oh, add one. You can yeah. add it. My worst sledge is not that bad. So again, that's the good thing with RNG. Uh, you can get wrecked anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> Whenever you want, you're gonna get wrecked. That's all. Ah, please, game. <laughs> so, if there's less enemies, uh, the good thing is I'll take less damage and I can focus on Sledge. The problem is there's apparently enemies uh, keep, keep spawning all the time. And they deal a lot of, da of damage and Sledge is not taking enough damage. So, as you can see, I say that uh, farming is important. So now I, I think you see why, because Sledge is not taking a lot of damage at all. I'll try to kill that guy pretty fast. 
Yeah, remember to donate if you want shirtless. Five hundred. <laughs> okay, if there's no more enemies, even with 7 HP, I'm really safe. And he's stuck on the wall, which means he's not going far away, and that's exactly what I want. Okay, he's far away enough. Yeah, I'm not taking the hammer damage. This shotgun is really bad, actually. <laughs> is there any changes you can do to make this go better than how it's going right now? Uh, the only change I could make to help is getting a better shotgun, but it's too late. That would be RNG as well. And that would be RNG as well. Yeah. Like you could spend minutes just looking for one. Oh, you're almost finished now. Yeah, but my ammo are almost finished too. Oh god. Come closer. Four ammo. I can't make... Oh. Oh no! That does... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Finally. I can say it, I never finished Sledge with a melee attack. <laughs> so? <laughs> so that never happened before again. That is another one. Another one. <laughs> Two oh so my far. god! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you sure you don't want to leave, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So that, that was, was like the third try, wasn't it? Um, the fourth? I think fourth. I'm fourth sure. even. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even the fifth. <laughs> yeah, the fourth. So. Well, mostly when the game uh, just wrecks you at the beginning, it, it is nice at the end. But I should not say that because, well, RNG? Oh, that is a good question. Uh, is this a fresh gameplay or can you play this on New Game Plus? Um, you can do a New Game Plus, but uh, currently nobody runs New Game Plus. What's the because difference? New Game Plus is kind of weird in this game. Okay. Um, there's no way actually to like play the story level max. Uh, and there's playthrough number two, but the problem is uh, the enemies are fixed to a level until you beat the last boss. So the game would be pretty dumb because the only way to do a level max run would be to uh, have a save file on playthrough two and level maximum. But that would mean all the enemies you can one shot them, so it's not really interesting. Uh, I know that people are working on on a way to um, have say file level max, no uh, no story quest finished, and still the enemies that scale on your level, which means everything, every enemy and yourself would be uh, level max. What is the safe house? Uh, well, that some file doesn't exist yet. Okay. Uh, they're working on it, and that would be pretty interesting because. It will remove most of the RNG factor and... No, actually it wouldn't remove the RNG factor, but it will remove all the farm parts, which is something we kind is of want to get rid of. Is that going to be implemented to the game? Uh, it's totally not going to be implemented on the game, just because this game is way too old. But I think... Uh, I know some people are working on editing saves manually, Mm -hmm. to make that happen. I hope it will happen, honestly. Anyways, now we can go back to the story. We finally killed Sledge. So Sledge is one of the most important uh, bosses just because of his shotgun. So what I got is the Sledge shotgun. Well, the name is pretty self-explanatory. It's the Sledge shotgun. 
This is the most important shotgun in the in the whole run, just because I'll, I'll show you really fast that this shotgun fires fast, but it has a really slow reload time. And on the speedrun, well, basically you can drop the weapon and pick it back up, so it's instant reload. And this has insane damage, like one shotting damage. Well, one shotting in critical, but uh, the rest of time it's not always. Ah, oh, I got an over weapon. I don't want any over weapon. Got some time for some donations? Um, yeah. Okay, so we have a five dollars donation by Anonymous. So thank you for your donation. Then we have uh, seventy-five dollars by Retro Gamers. Uh, he says put this donation toward Female Shepherd in Mass Effect 2. So consider it done. And finally, we have another five dollars by Reiko. He says. World record pace hype. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to get trolled about this run a long time. <laughs> but well, that's the fun part, right? <laughs> okay, so I need to kill 13 enemies before being able to go to the next part, and this enemy will be a problem. Okay, thank you. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? Again? <laughs> the two enemies that I had to kill I were way too far away. Yeah, I, I think we really should blame Kanye soon. <laughs> yeah? Because I love it. <laughs> okay, so 13 enemies, which means now the door right there is unlocked. I just have to throw a grenade. You should kill two enemies, except if they're badasses. And are you serious? <laughs> okay, no, right there, there's always a badass bruiser that I totally want to kill because he totally will wreck me really fast. So I'm running away. And just focus on the new quests. So uh, I have to activate two breakers. There's a way to do it with uh, grenade jump, but. Well, almost nobody do it because it's insanely hard to do, and it requires a long bow grenade mod, which is something I don't have. So I'll do the second fast strat. Well, the second fastest strat, which is basically get there, there, and ah, please, there you go. So now I just have to continue on the main quest. And we will be really nearby the second farm station. Skagzilla. Uh, the second farm station is, yeah, Skagzilla has a said. The problem with the second farm station is not Skagzilla, no, well, it's not the farm itself, it's just the first kill. Because Skagzilla can be an insane troll and kill me without letting me being able to survive. That means. If I get the perfect bad RNG, I can just die and not do anything about that. Which is great in a game like that. Don't worry, that happened before. <laughs> so I won't say it again. I like your term, perfect bad RNG. <laughs> <laughs> I always have the perfect bad RNG. <laughs> it's like my, my best plates on this game are 25 minutes less than my TV. <laughs> just saying hope much time I can save and still I don't save it. So I'll need money so I'm sending all the stuff. Uh, I don't need this. I only need my slash again. Okay am I lucky? I am not lucky. It's not a problem. So right now I'll need shotgun ammo because I'll have to shoot even more than against sledge. I'll take shield bonus because I prefer this to be safe. It will be important. And now we'll focus on something that is not actually the main quest. It's not the story quest, it's, uh, it's an optional quest. It's killing Skyxela. It's, well, an optional boss, I think we can call him like that. Uh, that is pretty annoying at my level right now, but later it will be really great. And, and the good thing is, uh, it, it gives a lot of experience, so we're just going to, like, wreck him all the time. Uh, no! 
No. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I won't do it with the car. It's pretty much dead. The worst that can happen uh, with the car is uh, there's some kazi kamikaze psycho that can go near the car and destroy it in two times. So they do this, and I have no car. But the best I think possible is like I go out to the car to take the bait, and a car just spawn and run over me, and that's instant death. And most of the time they do it when you just get out of the car, so you can't move at that moment. So it's pretty funny, you just enjoy your death. So this is Skagzilla. Skagzilla has the jump attack that it did until now. Now he has the rush attack that you can avoid just by pressing left or right, which is pretty easy. Uh, he has the laser, which is exactly what I want, because during that time I can do a lot of criticals. Like, my normal attacks deal 9 damage. There we go. So this is exactly what I want. I won't be able to kill him right now, but it's almost dead. There's a normal rush, like not like this, he just walks normally and try to melee attack me, something like that. And there's the worst attack, which is the fireball, which is an attack that we still have found no way to avoid. And that attack removes entirely my shield at that level, so it's pretty bad. Because if he does two fireballs, uh, one uh, right after the other, it's, well, 80% chance instant death. Which is something really bad because you can't kill Skyzilla if you're down. It's totally not possible. My first Skyzilla kill went uh, really well. Uh, not bad RNG uh, and no fireballs, so it's exactly what I want. I'm opening the containers because I will need money to buy uh, a class mod. Uh, and if I'm lucky, I would like to get uh, a corrosive granite mod. It will be helpful really later in the game. And something I can get is, well, a good rocket launcher and a good SMG. But that's not important. Like, that's really optional. If I get them, I'm really happy. If I don't get them, well, deal with it. But it, it, it's it's not my land hurry. So we've got a few donations towards shirtless. <laughs> Let's go for this. So first is a five dollars donation by an, an, an anonymous guy. He says first time donator, shirtless hype. And then we have a one hundred donation. <laughs> Once again by someone anonymous. He says shirtless and Kalex hype. Keep up the good work on this fully skill based speedrun that has no random elements. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So much love. So now I'm saying stuff because I just don't need all that stuff. And I have a lot of money, so what I want is a mercenary class mod. But those are really bad. Uh, the one I want must have um, Quicksilver and High Velocity bonus. At least plus two and plus two. Uh, no, yeah, that was the right menu. So I changed my um, skill points to something different. Um, mostly because of this one, uh, it's called Intuition. So Intuition works like if I kill an enemy, uh, for the 8 next seconds, I will have a bonus experience. Um, the first kill I do, obviously, doesn't get the bonus experience. But this game is pretty weird, and you can do something pretty funny. Um, if there's nobody in your car, and you destroy it, the game thinks, oh, you killed an enemy. You get no experience because it, it is your car. But you get the intuition bonus, which means what I will do is I will destroy my car, and I will have 8 seconds to kill Skyzilla. So obviously I will destroy my car when Skyzilla is low life. And I will use this to farm way faster. So that's one of the reasons why Lilith is way better than Brick for the speedrun. Uh, if I time my uh, shoot pretty well, uh, when you just walk near uh, towards me, I can do a shot 
inside his mouth and even if his mouth is closed I can do a critical hit it's not easy to do the timing is kinda weird it's not consistent but that's a good thing to do oh damn I didn't want it to kill it that fast I wanted to abuse of the glitch of the intuition so I got less experience than intended but it's okay um, the most important thing is just to kill uh, the boss as fast as possible. So I kind of need the class mode, so I'm going to check more so than how intended. How far are you in the run now? Oh my god, I need that. Um, I'm pretty much halfway the run. Okay. So I and even with all the fails and bad things I had. I'm still in the estimates right now, if you're wondering. Um, so right now on the vending machine, uh, there was the best uh, class mod possible I can get because it's plus two quicksilver and plus three uh, high velocity. And that's the perfect one. That's the godlike one. So what I have to do right now is get more money because I don't have enough money. And if it's not enough, I'm just going to cry. Uh, it should be enough. Um, we'll see that right now. Yeah, 50,000. Uh, it's this one. So it's perfect. So you have exactly the class mod I need. So it's one thing that I won't have to deal with. Uh, and it's energy dependent. So that's one energy thing that done. I still need, uh, well, the good thing will be to get a good SMG and a rocket launcher and a corrosive grenade mod. But all those things, I have tons of time to farm them. So it's kind of okay. So right now I'm level 19, so I will destroy the car early. Because if Skyxla opens his mouth like that, and if I don't fail my phase jump, or if Skyzilla doesn't start to roar before I enter the area, I can totally kill him within the 8 seconds of entering the area. The problem I had right now was just when I entered the area, um, Skyzilla started to roar before the end of the phase walk, which is a bad thing. Uh, it depends on how I do the jump, so I probably failed my jump. So I didn't got the, the bonus experience. Meanwhile, we have a ten dollar donation by Vash Vash. He says, "Take off all the shirts, shirtless <laughs> hide. We'll make sure to keep our wonderful shirts on as much as possible soon. But for now, let's get shirtless. We'll know it's never happened before, right?" <laughs> <laughs> so, how much money is needed for the shirtless now? Uh, let me see. Uh, we need three hundred and eighty-five dollars more. Wow, it's really going fast, though. <laughs> okay, please, perfect energy. So shirtless doesn't need five hundred total. Uh, it needs five hundred total, not just one that donates five hundred. Well, yeah, we need five hundred in uh, in total. Okay, and what was it? What were it to now? Sorry. How, what is the total right now? Oh, the total is one hundred and fifteen. Oh, okay. Okay, so a laser, not bad. Except I'm not getting any fast traps. <laughs> so right now the farm is pretty much exactly what happens right now, but for about ten more minutes, sadly. Um the level I need to hit is level 24. So as you can see, I got level 19 and 20 pretty fast, but obviously it will uh, slow down. Um, if you're wondering why I blow up my car early like now, uh, it's because there's a fast threat that is possible to do. You have like one chance out. Oh, come on, jump! You have one chance out of three to get it. But basically that means I will kill Skyxilla in less than 8 seconds. It's totally worth trying, but it requires uh, that 
the sky's the lead do a long roar when I enter the area. And that's not what happened. So basically, it's not a fast strat. So even that, what, oh my god, I forgot to manage my ammo. Uh, it's better to just say warp. So I forgot to buy ammo. That's totally my fault. So about the fast strat, yeah. Um, Sky's Lab, when we enter the area, it, there's three roars you can do. And one of them is, uh, like, he opened his mouth for a long time. And that time is exactly the amount of time I need to kill him before I can do anything else. So that's why I try to blow my car early. Uh, it's just because if that happens, it's worth it. It's worth destroying the car um, and maybe not getting the experience. So obviously I can take the count of uh, <laughs> long wars I get. Most of the time, Pentalex and I get free long wars, which is always bad because you always want more long wars. You do like um, 12 Skyxilla kills, I think. Oh, I started to roar before I entered the area. This is not good. So it won't be a fast ride because I will kill him before. Before the, uh, the bonus. Stay there. Um, another thing I need to take care of is actually um, a pretty rare glitch. And it's not a good thing. It's a really bad thing that can happen. Uh, we call it the experience glitch. Uh, sometimes when we kill the boss, it actually happens that we don't get any experience. Uh, it's a huge problem. And that happens when we try to fire too fast, things like that. We don't really know if it's really the cause, but if that happens, that means I kill Skyzilla and I don't get any experience, and that's really, really bad. So I really hope that won't happen during this run. But considering the RNG right now, well, it's totally possible, right? Okay, this should be the fast run. On, one more shot, and that's exactly what I want. So this is exactly why I destroyed the car already. If I get this all the time, this is exactly uh, the fast farm. How many XP does that give you? How many percents? It gives plus 20 percent experience. Okay. So that each means time. each time. So that means okay. uh, if I get like four fast right, it's like I did five kills. So obviously it saves a lot of time because a kill is about 45 seconds. It can be like one minute if it really goes badly like no laser no f long roll nothing something that is kind of interesting me because these games also have sort of kind of a skill tree yeah and uh, is there any like build that is the best for speedrunning or how how do you build your skill tree well for the speedrun we change our build uh, our tree according to what we're going to do so right now i'm farming so i have I changed my skill to have that experience bonus so I can farm faster. But later in the game, I will change for um, what we call the, the killing the kill tree, okay. uh, which is basically um, more on uh, bonus damage. Uh, last boss is all on bonus damage, and before last boss, we have a tree that is basically just phase walk longer and shorter uh, refresh rate for the phase walk which is basically just moving faster. Have you like, uh, can you change your skill tree whenever you want or have you like a set amount of times you can change it? I can change whenever I want, but it, it's just I have to go back to um, um, what they call the fast travel in the game to be able to reset my, uh, my skill tree. Which level do you start to be able to get points into the skill tree? Um, it's level five and the first point uh, of your skill tree is always uh, the phase walk. Okay. That means right now I'm just farming. Later in the game I will change for something that deals more damage, that is more axe to killing bosses. Uh, I'll, I'll explain that when I will do it. Yeah, sure. So if there's any donation now, Yep. You can go. We have uh, $5.73 uh, 
uh, donation by Jezo. He says, I hope that clicking circles experience will help you. Health, I will be waiting for you once you finish this run, dude. And shirtless. <laughs> Jade, all of you. Sorry for all the new questions, but I feel it's kind of interesting to, to learn what you're doing and how the game is. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you can ask questions. I think, I think if I f forget to explain something, it's, it's really interesting. So, do you, do you have a question? I don't really have a question, but every time I see this little robot, I always think about the, the Wally -E movie. <laughs> 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 he looks so, so like him, like Wally. -E. <laughs> well, that little robot is uh, a claptrap. It's pretty much the mascot. The I don't yeah. know how to say it in English. Yeah, I, I have uh, played a little bit of uh, Borderlands 2, so I know Claptrap since before. That's why I asked if there's any rel relevance between the first one and the second game, because I have only um, played the second game a little bit. Well, uh, yeah. the major difference if you play Borderlands 2 about <laughs> about Claptrap is uh, in Borderlands 2, and they explain it in the game, there's only one Claptrap remaining. And in this game, you will see many different clap traps. But they are, uh, well, I think they made clap trap really differently in Borderlands 2, where there's only one clap trap that is kind of funny but must be annoying according to, well, taste, I guess. I, I know some people don't like the, the new clap trap in Borderlands 2. In Borderlands 1, they, they stay really serious and don't joke a lot, and there's multiple clap traps. <laughs> so that that's the major difference in terms of clap traps in the game. <laughs> uh, it's really going well right now because I'm almost level 23, which means I just need one more level, and after that I can go back to a, uh, well, story quest. If you're wondering about the farms, don't worry. Um, there will be only one more farm after this one, and the next farm is hard. And only uh, last four minutes or six, no, four minutes. So it will be really short and it's actually interesting to play. So right now I just have to hope for uh, fast rats. I forgot to destroy my car, so okay, it's okay because I didn't got the fast rat, which means I just have to deal a lot of damage and. Oh, uh, this is the one you talked about before that you need to kill a certain amount of things. What? That you needed to kill like five or six, whatever you said that you had to kill for, for grinding. Just um, now. I'm sorry, I'm confusing you. The amount, if you're wondering, you, you mean the amount of kill of Sky's Light kills I need to do to finish the farm? Yeah, you said something that you had to kill amount of something right now. And I asked oh. if these were the one that you had to kill. That you were talking about? Uh, no, no, no. I was talking about another boss. It's later. Okay. Uh, this boss, it's about 15 kills. I, it depends on intuition, on fast rats. Um, so it's energy dependent. The next boss is only uh, two kills for the farm and one kill because it's mandatory, it's the quest. Y you have to kill at least once the, the next boss I will farm. And after that, I will just kill him twice, and it, it will be pretty fast because the kill is about one minute, and it takes about one minute to load a save and go to the boss. Come on, Skyzilla, give me fast threats. So right now, uh, considering the amount of uh, experience I have, I need only two more kills if everything goes well. And if I remember well the experience, it's not very really important to remember the experience amounts in this game because um, uh, an older route used a precise amount of experience, but the new route uh, that I I'm doing right now uh, is just you need level 16, you need level 24, and you need just two kills of that boss. So it's way easier. I don't have to check into the menu exactly the the experience I have. Sven is at his prices during this run. 
Um, maybe you you want to talk about the prizes? They seem to be kind of busy over there. Yeah. Not paying attention. <laughs> Um, so yeah, maybe you have heard, but I'm Batman is the new first character name. <laughs> Again? Again. As Why? Can they get some better imagination so, of names? Uh, <laughs> let's, let's make a recap on the character names. So I'm Batman is first with $71, then T-Rex is second with $67. Handsome Jack has uh, $60 and Kanjo again $47. And the car pink. is still pink. Pink is the best color. You should not change uh, the car color. I think people should come back, come up with better names. Have some Im imagination. Not the same name all over again. <laughs> come on. It, it's not that they submitted a new game. It's just it got more money. But well, I, I'd say right now getting a different name would be pretty hard. Maybe we'll get T Rex again. Like uh, full names, uh, do they uh, decide their own names when they do donation, or is it like a list of names that they can choose from? No, they, they can. It, it can be uh, whatever name they want. There's no list. So please, imagination. <laughs> Come up with them better. <laughs> well, wh why don't you uh, share a good name? Um, <laughs> I, I. Uh, <laughs> that is a good question. Um, you can use your own name. No one has done that. Yeah, that's kind of egoistic, maybe. <laughs> well, if everyone donates for his own name, uh, it's going to be pretty hard to have a name. <laughs> Okay, so the farm is finished right now, and I'm lucky because I got exactly the kind of uh, rocket launcher I need for the next boss. Uh, it's an Helix one. Helix uh, means you fire one rocket <laughs> and there's three rockets that are, that are being shot. It's kind of weird, but it's totally broken for the next boss. So right now, before being able to kill the next boss, I have to destroy eight cars, and I will do it with, well, our beautiful uh, pink car and I'll hope to not get trolled because the spawn here um, the, 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 the game can make two cars, too many cars spawn at the same time and I take more damage than ideal damage plus I need eight cars and I'm not going to wait between two cars so as you can see my, my health is dropping pretty fast like I only did 50% of the kills I need to do but there's uh, I have like 30% of my life. Oh, come back, please. Oh no, it's a red car. I won't kill it. There's two kind of cars in this area, uh, blue and red. Blue are using a uh, machine gun, red are using a rocket launcher. Uh, the red ones have more HP and they are more annoying because they deal more damage. So most of the time I stay there because that's where most blue cars spawn. Except when they don't want to spawn. Come on, so they are further away, okay, that's why. The good thing when I have um, a wreck launcher like right now is that I still can, I if I get wrecked by a car and my car is explode, I still can manage to kill the blue cars with the wreck launcher. I think, uh. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you noticed it, but the blue car was pushing a psycho. <laughs> that was kind of weird because I, I loved the psycho that the car was pushing. It's kind of weird. But yeah, well, things can happen, I guess. So now I'm going to do uh, Mad Mel, which is the next boss. So the normal strat for this boss is, well, it's a car boss. So normally you should kill him with the car. But that's for normal people. For speedrun, we like the ultra risky but way faster strat, which means 
you don't kill him with a car because the car deals almost no damage. Um, the best way to destroy the Madmail fast is to use either rocket launcher or the slide shotgun. The risky factor of this is just that if you get roll, uh, if a car roll over you, it's instant death. You're not even down. You you just respawn instantly. So I have to destroy Madman really fast and make sure no car will destroy me. That's the risky part. But it's way faster to do that strat than instead of using the car. A good thing is uh, um, dropping and reloading also works well with the rocket launcher. That rocket launcher is really overpowered. This is perfect. Three shots. That's my best one not kill, I think. That was really quick. That was, I think, the quickest I've ever done. So it was really, really good. So no. actually, you could say that this never happened before. <laughs> Is it a turn? Did you really want it? That never happened before. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so one more? Yeah, one more, sadly. So I, I had a really perfect rocket launcher for this. Uh, so that, that pretty much explained why it was really good. So now more on the well, normal story quest. And well, the second thing intuition does when I kill an enemy is it also gives a bonus speed. And you'll see that it's pretty much interesting because I have a car right there. And oh, boom, it's destroyed. So I, I, I right now I have my intuition bonus and gives me uh, a pretty good speed bonus, which allows me to do that part faster than usual. So now I just have to activate like five generators. It's not interesting. I just have to walk. Press E. The good thing is everything is planned so the last one is the phase walk. Like now. And I just have to seven quit. Because it's way faster. Now I just have to turn in and we'll go to the next area. So this is uh, where I will start to be sad to not have um, an SMG. Because for the next quest, uh, I, I will have to kill a lot of enemies. And it's actually more handy to use an SMG than the, the uh, sledge shotgun. Even though the sledge shotgun is really, really awesome. Um, it's actually better to use uh, an SMG because it's safer, you take less damage and since you have to kill a lot of enemies, you will take a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, I'll have no SMG so I'll have to deal with it. So I just hope I will not get too much badasses, because badasses are the real problem when you use the slash shotgun. So right now it's just driving to Tani's place. And well, that's where we show that, uh, well, grenade jump is always useful because uh, to go to the tennis place, one grenade jump is kind of save time. If you have donation, I think it's the right moment. I think that I'm not even noticing you. Yeah, there is a donation actually. Okay. So this is twenty dollars by an, anonym, an anonymous guy. I will manage to pronounce it well one day. And he says, "Good luck to all of the runners. This money is going to the female character in Fire Red. If there is a donation incentive for the character name as well, I would donate for it to be Fancy P as well." Oh. Okay, well, um, a little fun fact in Borderlands is 
Your frog grenade is faster when you have a shotgun equipped, so that's why I pretty much removed my uh, rec launcher right now. Uh, okay, I got half the jump. It's pretty good. So, I prefer to remove the rec launcher so um, I can get I can throw my grenade faster. And also, uh, I removed the uh, the grenade mod because the grenade mod will pretty much kill me. So I, I use bear grenade. And now we're going to the quest where we kill more stuff because right now, wow, it's not boring. It's boring. We're just moving from point A to point B. Well, the two next quests are totally about killing enemies. So it's going to be more interesting, especially because I don't have an SMG, so I'll have to deal with it with the slash again. So just to add a small precision uh, concerning the last donation, uh, there is a donation incentive for the character name in Pokemon, so you can donate uh, once again if you want. Okay, so the thing I will do is, again, I will destroy my car to get the intuition bonus, but the way I will do it is kind of different because between the two shots, I'm moving, I'm looking away because um, the game thinks uh, it's better to enter the car than pick back up the shotgun. So if I try to do that, instead of picking back up the, the shotgun, I will just uh, enter the car and that's totally not what I want to do. And from now, there's two items I really need to farm on the vending machines. I will absolutely need a corrosive grenade mod, and I will need a bouncing bitty, uh, an explosive bouncing bitty grenade mod, which has to be uh, level 25. The bouncing bitty is mandatory for the last boss, and the corrosive one is mandatory for a boss, well, for the boss right before. Oh, badass! This is perfectly bad. This is more bad luck. Well, it's okay. It, it, it died pretty fast. So right there, I have to kill 25 enemies, and the less badass I have, the better it will be. And as soon as I say that, there's a badass. <laughs> The problem is the badass deals a lot of damage and even normal enemies are annoying. So, oh, I have an SMG actually. So that's pretty interesting. So the good thing with... Go away. The good thing with uh, SMG is most of them reload really fast, which means I don't have to drop them. It will be really important later. The second thing is that uh, I can fire from... Um, far away, which means hey, I'm safe and not taking any damage. It also make, oh my god, a badass and a bruiser. <laughs> this is not good at all. Okay, come here and die. Okay. So that's why the SMG is great. It's because uh, with the shotgun, I was so I would be so close. I would have been down more than once until now. Could you die, please? Thank you. Also, you can't really shoot that from far away with the sled shotgun because the sled shotgun is totally inaccurate. Okay, there's the worst kind of badass right there. And that's why I'm happy to have an SMG, because I can try to kill that guy. And I will not be able... <laughs> come on, come on! <laughs> oh my god, they are literally fronting the game. So right now it's better to uh, actually save war, because going back to the place where I was will take a lot of time. Save warping will uh, make enemies respawn, which means I have less... Uh, I, I have to work less than usual. The enemies will be uh, closer. So it actually saves time. 
Uh, can I do this? Yeah. Nice. Little damage boost. Those um, exploding things actually push you like really far away. It wasn't as good as I wanted, but it, it helps. So now we just have to kill um, seven, no, eight enemies. Uh, oh. So have you done two times of grinding so far in this game? Yeah, but there's only one more grinding. This okay. is not the grinding, this is actually a quest. No, I was just asking. Yeah. There's only three grindings and the last one is... <sighs> come on. The, the, the last one is the funniest in my opinion. And the, more the most interesting to watch. It's also how not can that long, right? How can it's not that long at all. Mm -hmm. How can a grinding be fun? <laughs> well, the last one is a boss. And the way you do it, it uh, requires to be focused. Yeah. So, I it's not boring. That's that's pretty much how I see it. Um, um, so now I just have to, uh, well, turn in the quest. Save warping is faster. And I'll, uh, oh, so again, 30 seconds. I have to be on the games for at least 30 seconds. If I quitted when I was into the menu, it will it wouldn't have saved the game. And that's really a big problem in this game, uh, like because it's a speedrun, you want to do things really fast, and that is exactly the opposite of fast. Oh my god, I need that. Go away and um. so this is exactly one of the perfect grinding mode of the game for one of the bosses. And that also means I have one of the two grenade mods I need for the end of the game. Which means I only need to farm one more grenade mod. And I hope I won't have to farm it literally uh, on one vending machine, but I hope I can get it on the way. But that depends only on RNG. So let's see if I'm lucky or not. The next part is really the reason why having an SMG is, is more interesting than having the shotgun because I'll have to kill uh, bandits like earlier, except the bandits will drop a bottle of booze. And the problem is, when you drop the shotgun and pick it back up, sometimes it drops the bottle of booze, sometimes it picks up the, the shotgun. Right now, because I have a fast reload, I can just spam E and, well, pick up everything and just not drop my uh, my weapon. And also because you have to to uh, well, pick up the uh, bottle of booze, if an enemy drops a weapon, you will most likely pick it up too. Which means, if, after that, if you drop your weapon, you will not have the weapon you pick back up, but you will have the other weapon. Um, so it's annoying because that means you will have to go into the menu, remove the weapon, you know, like that. It's not a good thing. With an SMG, you don't have, you don't have to deal with all that stuff. It says it's a time. Maybe I've got a better SMG right now, and yes, it is. Except it reloads way slower. This one's there. The reload speed is really important for that part. So that's why I prefer something that has less damage than the other. The so little trick here always destroy that those barrels because first those barrels destroy you really fast, and second they destroy the enemies really fast too. So it I think it's better to use it on the enemies. So now I have to go away to get more enemies. Every enemy will drop a bottle of booze. You don't have to be lucky or not for this. And that's a good thing. Because like random drops would be 
really, really painful for this game. Okay, 16, 17. This is where there's a lot of enemies. Could you go? Boom. Perfect. Uh, tell me. Thank you. Sometimes I prefer to let him, let them kill me just because I know I will die. So better be sure that there's an enemy nearby and that I can kill. And that he's not an ass like this one because this one just ran away. Uh, okay, just two more enemies. The bruiser will do fine. There we go. Seven quits, so I go back to the entrance. And now just warp to Crazy Earl. All still shit, vending machine. Is there something interesting? Nothing interesting. I will not need the SMG anymore. I totally need that. Uh, actually, no, I will keep one SMG because it can save my life if things that goes not bad at, uh, bad at all. I on the last boss, an SMG can totally save me if I'm unlucky. So I tend to now keep always an SMG with myself. Uh. Okay. What about your estimate? No. Um, I'm still in the estimate. It's not going well, totally. This, this <laughs> run is not great, but that's why I have that estimate. Because this is exactly what can happen all the time. This is really why running this game can be hard. Well, with that much RNG, it's kind of... Well, right now it's still worse than usual. <laughs> I, I can't say it's average, it's already worse than usual. But that's exactly why I uh, planned that, that much. Um, estimate that much time. Okay, so right now um, there's a little city I do like right there. Uh, what I'm going to do is instead of just going uh, straight to Chrome, I'll just go there and activate the fast travel. The fast travel is the thing that allowed me to uh, warp uh, between places. It will be really important later because later I will just warp to there to that place. Right now I'm going for the boss named Chrome, and okay, so there's a trick here that is really, really, really annoying. If I can get it first try, it would be great, but you can mess up. So actually, what I can do is get the car over those fences. Uh, the first jump is pretty easy, except I failed it, but it's still pretty easy. Like that, I got it. The most annoying is this one because this one works kind of weirdly. And first try. Nice. So now I have the car right there, and there's like two rocket launchers that are really, really strong. They can kill me like two shots. Like even one shot will deal a lot of damage. So doing that part with the car is actually faster and way safer. The problem is the second jump is really, really precise and. Because of the car control of the game, it's hard to be accurate on the jump. So I'm quite happy I got it first try because um, the last run I did, I just didn't try it because I fell it like 10 times. <laughs> so that's how bad this can go again. So right now it's just uh, walking to Chrome and I will just wreck Chrome really fast because I have an OP shotgun. I'm using the phase walk to skip most of the oh, great phase walks, nice. great phase jump. So the next part, um, if you ever played Borderlands, you know that the next part, most of people will use a sniper to kill Chrome because it's really far away. But that, that is the strat for noobs. Like you'll see in that cutscene, where is Chrome? On the What? He's on the nets. 
<laughs> so Chrome is really that far away, like seriously. So I could snipe it, but uh, I still have to open the chest that is right behind him. So I'm I'm just going to abuse of the phase walk because th that turret deals a lot of damage. Like that turret can kill me in three seconds. Oh my god. Uh, what? Okay, he has a little work, I'm not sure that explains everything. Uh, barrel, please. Perfect. So, the whole part where he can really kill me fast, I just use, well, my phase lock up there. And even if I die there, it's perfect. Because this deals so much damage. Oh! wasn't fast enough. That sucks. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's okay because I, I spawned just there, so retrying is really easy. Uh, actually, the, the problem was because I was dumb before. The, uh, the rocket launcher user... Well, when you're dumb... Uh, the, when you're dumb and you do a second win, the, sec the next down actually lasts uh, less time. So that's why I was kind of bad. Yeah. Right now it should be perfect. I'm really low life, but it's perfect. Come on! Where were you? I didn't saw you. It's not nice to attack people from behind. I'll just take his weapon just because I might need money later. So we've got a donation by JP Xenum, uh, a donation of $20. He says, thanks to Tompa in the chat for telling me how. So here is another $20 for Fancy P as the fine name for Pokemon. Okay, so right now I changed my skill tree to uh, what we call the skill, the killer tree. I have uh, more bullet damage, uh, faster fire rate, more critical damage, and I also took a perk that gives me uh, a longer phase walk by uh, about 8 seconds. So that allows me to well, walk faster. I also lost the intuition, which means destroying my car right there is all useless. That's why I won't do it, and I will never take intuition anymore. I will just uh, care about going fast now. This is almost normal farm actually. Like the last last farming part is really short. Yeah. So now I'll just go to tennis. And this is exactly why we unlock the middle of nowhere um, fast travel, because right now I'm just going to fast travel from there uh, to there. Come on, thank you. So a little grenade jump that we can do uh, here. Let's say while barely. Two seconds, three seconds, but it's fun to do, so I'll do it. Um, right there, actually, um, I'll have to ask the, the clap trap to uh, to activate the bridge. And normally, you just wait for the bridge and and just roll on the bridge. But we're speedrunners, we're lazy. We we don't like to wait. We just don't like to wait. So there's a different strat that uh, that involves grain jumping. So right now I'm just going to talk to the Clap Trap and he will ask the bridge to ascend to, well, he will just lower the, the bridge but I'm too lazy so I'm just going there and there's a tricky grenade jump uh, come on. Wow, I didn't got it <sighs> Okay, this is bad <laughs> So that grenade jump is really easy to do if you have long rows, but without them, um, the timing and the, the throw of the grenade can be kind of hard. 
So I failed it. No, normally you just jump there. And, well, the good thing is, um, right after that, there's a catch ride station where you can pick back up the, the car. And it's faster than waiting for the bridge. But if you fail like that, it's obviously <laughs> slower. Okay. So now I'm going to talk to that NPC. And I'm going to say more because I just have to go back to a place that is really nearby. But well, the problem is I already used my face walk, so it's way faster to just save and save warp, even though I'm just there, like right there, checking for grenades, no grenades. You know, that's how you kill the guy really fast. Go down to the car, phase jump, uh, phase walk. And this is the guy you kill. And there you go, that's how you kill it fast. There was an old strat that involved using a car here, but it takes more time to get the car. Um, it's kind of long, but it's really safe because that kind of boss, well, that enemy control you, you can die there. It went perfectly, so it's okay. Okay, so if you wonder what was the invisible thing that blocked me, the enemies that haven't spawned, that there's enemies right there, but you don't see them. They come from the ground. And the game actually already created them. So that's why I'm blocked. Even though they're in the ground, they still block you. Also, if you wonder why I went to the menu, again, that part is uh, takes less than 30 seconds. So that's why I have to wait a bit to be able to save work. Go back to New Haven. No, I just have to talk to a guy and open a container. You're gonna eat me. What did you do? <laughs> so, um, another fun thing with Borderlands is the range of being able to talk to someone in the game is actually uh, bigger than the trigger of you need to go just near that person. The, the guy I talked and who gave me the quest, actually, it happens that I talk to him and I it doesn't, I can't turn in the quest just because he tells me I have to talk to that guy. I'm just right between the, the I can talk to him trigger our range and the you need to, to be near him. It's kind of weird. Sometimes the game does that. So now I'm, I'm going back to the town where I killed the guy fast. Because actually his brother who asked us, well, the, the guy who asked us to kill uh, the man in the town actually took over the town and I have some killing. It, it, and they are brothers, and if you wonder, they are pretty weird. So the other guy actually used a rocket launcher and I don't like rocket launcher. This is, uh, well, kind of powerful. And he's pretty resistant, so I'm not going to do the same strat with the shotgun. I'm just going to use the... Oh, come on. I'm going to take the car over the fence. Um, there's two strats to do that. This is supposed... Oh, come on, why? So I just have to get the car on, over the fence and take no damage. There we go. No, I'm taking a lot of damage, please, please, please. Okay, it should be okay. Uh, also, fun fact, uh, this wall is totally not solid. Because the car is not supposed to be able to go there. This wall is not solid too. And this is the boss. I have to make sure that the two broken launcher turrets are not able to hit me. And now, boom. Boss kill. 
So we've got two donations here. Apparently, Kanjo just left the room to make a donation. <laughs> <laughs> Not even surprising. And he gave $30 to put Kanjo again first as the character name. He said Kanjo again and you know it. And also another donation of $10 by Michael Michael Dragon Edge. And he says, uh, I don't even know which charity this is for, but I vote Jack because he cares. So just to remind you that uh, the European Speedster Assembly uh, is uh, for Doctors Without Borders, uh, also called Médecins Sans Frontières. This is an, in an international independent medical human humanitarian organi organization that delivers aid to people affected by armed conflicts, epidemics, natural disasters, and exclusion from healthcare. Doctors Without Borders offers assistance to people based on need, irrespective of race, religion, gender, or political affiliation. So, what's the winning name? The winning name is Kanjo again. Yes. No! <laughs> Please! Why? Because I want you to you make your run more than you three hours. <laughs> oh my god. So if it goes overestimate, it is totally Kanjo's fault. Kanjo is that guy right there. Just saying. It will be his fault because he literally brings bad luck. Okay, so this is good. I got a shield that will really help me for the next part. So really fast, um, on the vending machine I got exactly the grenade mod I needed. Which means... Uh, I'm pretty much done with the RNG, except for one thing. Well, for the bad RNG, the really bad one, the one that makes you lose in 10 minutes. The only thing that can still troll me right now is the boss I'm going to kill right now. It's called Rakhai. Uh, can I kill her? I blame Canada. Okay, that's, that's nice. <laughs> nah, blame Canada. <laughs> So right now I really pray for a first try on this boss. If it's not a first try, I will blame Kanjo. Because right now the RNG was good until now. Maybe we should have a blame Kanjo counter. <laughs> uh, no, it, it would be too big. <laughs> so this is Rock Hive, and this is maybe one of the hardest thing I will have to do in the game. Because it can spawn racks, uh, and the racks can uh, racks are the birds, and those birds can deal a lot of damage. Hopefully, I got a good sh uh, shield. Okay, so that's exactly the attack I hate and I can't avoid. So right now, he did what we call the quick stomp. Uh, the problem with the quick stomp is even if you jump, you can't avoid it, and because I'm always near the enemy. Uh, it will always hit me because I need to be in the air because I'm losing a shot. The second worst thing you can do is spawning racks, but the white racks. The yellow racks are exploding and they die uh, on the first hit. Those ones are kind of more. Ooh, I got the level up, which is perfect. So the white racks are kind of more resistant and deals a lot of damage. The good thing is I got the level up during the fight which uh, refill my health and also uh, allows me to deal more damage. So it went really, really well. So that was for maybe the hardest thing. Uh, well, actually no. But I think I'm really, um, I can say I'm done with the RNG now. But nothing's sure. Like, with Kenjo, I think everything is possible. Everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. So now just go back to Tannis again and give him the key. Give her the key, sorry. <laughs> So the good thing is, because I have all the items I need, I don't have to uh, check vending machines again. 
Uh, so, well, it's pretty good because if I don't have to check vending machines, I actually save time. By the way, is there even any story in this game? Well, the story is... Well, the, there's only one story, it's just um, you want to discover the, the vault. The vault? Yeah, you want to open the vault, and that, that is the vault that brought all the problems in Borderlands 2. But yeah, um, what, do you, what you want is just um, open the vault, discover the vault, so you're, you're a vault hunter. And, well, this girl actually knows where are the keys, so that's why you, know, you help her. You help her to get the key to open the vault, mm -hmm. and after that you go to the vault. Okay. So right now, this is the last form. So the big thing I exploded, uh, the Rack Hive. I'm just going to kill him uh, twice really fast. It should not be a problem at all. It, it should go really well. So just refill ammo, because that boss actually requires a lot of ammo. And let's go. So if you want to read donations, I think it's the right moment now. Yep, but we don't have any donation. <laughs> no shirtless! Still no shirtless, you have to donate. Ready. Alright. Okay, we're back. Yeah, we just had a small technical issue. Well, small. <laughs> you see what I mean? So we're just back and it should be okay right now. Also, blame Kanjo for the problem. Everyone, hashtag blame Kanjo, please. Now we wait for 40 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any donation? No, no donation so far. <laughs> okay, then. I'm just heading for the last I have kill. After this one, I'll just finish the game. I think the game, I mean, there's no more farm, nothing, it's just doing the, the, the main story quest. Oh. I need more blame Kendra, please. So right now I finished farming, so I'll just focus on the, the story quest. So right now I just have to free the, the claptrap of, um, well, the um, tennis claptrap. And you'll see that, uh, well, that's how you see that this is an FPS. We did grenade jumps, we, we like things like that. Well, it's not as much as Half-Life, but we'll do something like that. And to mention Jator again, I hope I'll get swap, swap points because there's two ways to do um, a little skip. There's the swag way and the uh, really safe but lame way. And obviously I'll try the swag way even if it's really dangerous because this is a speedrun and after all the things that happen I think, I think it can get worse. <laughs> so. Again, I'll just change my uh, purse again. I'll take a spec that gives me um, more defense and reduced phase wall cooldown and longer cooldown. So basically, uh, with that spec, I'm like, I don't take much damage. Uh, my phase wall gives me health. Uh, 
so it's just the, I, I move fast and leave me alone. I won't. I don't want to die. It's bad. Okay, those are the wrong barrels, but I will try it. No, I should not have tried it. I wanted to try it. So technically, I should never try the barrel jump if there's a blue barrel. But I was like, let's try anyway. <laughs> and it was a bad idea. So if there's, uh, the, the barrel is totally RNG. If there's one barrel, I can do it. If there's two barrels but no blue, I can do it. Obviously, I'm going to do the skip anyway because the normal way is to move. So there you go. And it's just while well, doing this and free the claptrap. Obviously, I don't want to die before, so let's hide just the time claptrap is doing its things. And there you go. Nice. So now I think we're going for the most interesting and most funny boss fight of the whole game. I'm not going to say anything about it. It's just my favorite boss fight of the whole game. Is he the guy on the ledge? What? Is he the guy on the ledge? On the what? On, on the, the ledge. The yeah. cliff. Yes, yes, it's that one. Nice. We have a $5 donation by Shadow Feed. Thanks for this awesome event. Come on, people, get some donations in. We'll be donating more, especially if I see my boy, Dale, my boy Darwin. So right now, this part is kind of annoying because, well, there's, I have to kill four cars, but the spawn is totally random and the range of spawn is really, really huge. Um, so I... I really have to take care about the, the radar on the bottom of the screen because that's the thing that will tell me where is the, the car, like that. After that I just have to lock it with space and destroy it. Okay, there's a car that way. The spawn is really totally random and right now it's pretty good but it can be really bad, like really, really far away. Maybe I'll get one of those. Yeah, I got one of those. Like the next car is really, really far away, as you can see. Come on, stop running away. Last one. There's one uh, right there. Uh, oops. Apparently you can go there. Okay, I got it. After that, there's a whole, um, well, little dungeon thingy here. But actually, there's an entrance right there where you just say, I'm not going to kill anybody. Just go to the elevator for the boss. Like, why would I kill everyone? So there you go. And just enjoy the next boss fight. And blame Kenjo for all the crashes and everything. <laughs> Always blame Kenjo. That guy, he's called Kenjo. Okay, for that boss, the little trick I'll use to go uh, near him really fast is uh, I'll just do some green jumps to skip uh, the whole park because normally I have to kill every bandit to unlock the path but if I uh, go there uh, that green jump is kind of annoying no <laughs> the the green jump is really 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 annoying if you don't have uh, long bows my angle was bad. Should be good. There, yeah, well, perfect. Almost too much. Yeah. Now I just have to jump there. Actually, I skip a part where I have to kill everyone. And the boss is right there. And now, this is how you kill a boss. 
<laughs> what? What the Goodbye. hell? Goodbye. That was kind of... <laughs> so this was the home run. Yeah, that's Slash's wow. shotgun. So it's just one uh, tricky thing with the sh Slash shotgun. The Slash shotgun has um, an insane knockback. And that's the only boss where it's interesting to do it. And it's really, really fun. You can actually mess around and go up with it if you go into a duel with your buddy. And then he jumps and you shoot him, you can launch each other. Yeah, that's what we did um, uh, when we tried uh, a co We We actually managed to go out of bounds by <laughs> yeah. touching people with the slash shotgun, so that's how OP it is. It's really funny. The Crimson Lance are about to make an unpleasant discovery and learn a harsh lesson. Okay, so now I'm going towards maybe no. the thing no, I hate the most in the game. It's not so the hardest, I... but it's one of the hardest and it's really annoying. So, I'm going to do a new trick called the element glitch, the, element, the grand element glitch. Actually, there's no real name, but it's pretty much the, be the best name. They asked if they can donate for the vault uh, opening cutscene. Oh, um, that's possible. The problem is, in, in the speedrun, you removed, you actually removed the cutscene from the game. But I, I can put it back really fast if you want, and show the cutscene at the end. If I'm not too, uh, if I'm, if I'm not behind this, you know, like from if I'm, if it's still okay, I'll show it. So we've got five dollars from Anonymous. He says, "Let's keep those donations coming in. Thanks for putting on this fantastic stream." Okay, so now I need more grenades, but for that I will sell things. Go away, go away, go away. I don't need this anymore, and all those things are totally useless. Which means now I have tons of money. I'll get grenade SDU to have seven grenades, and this is really, really important. And I'll equip the explosive bounce completely. So the little trick I will use to kill the next boss. The actually I don't have to do it. I forgot. Normally, um, so if I'm unlucky if I, and if I don't get um, a good grenade uh, mod, the only way to kill the next boss is by using corrosive grenade mod. Like without the corrosive grenade mod, it is totally impossible. Like it, it takes. A lot of time. The good thing is, uh, I got the corrosive bouncing Betty that I that is level 25, so I don't need to use the trick. But basically, the trick is just um, you throw true grenades, and before the grenade explodes, you switch your grenade to a corrosive grenade mode. And it's really bad because it has like no corrosive damage, so I have to finish him normally. I'll use this in the second stage. How oh, much? The green thing is that is damage, right? So the green thing is the thing that deals the most damage for the boss, but uh, it wasn't perfect. The green thing is like uh, it should be spreading, and there was no spread between the enemies. That's why uh, it didn't do a lot of damage. I prefer to use this MG because. Um, th those weapon shots actually kill me in one shot. Wow, I avoided that one, but that was really shot. That's why you absolutely need that corrosive running mode. Wasn't perfect, but at least I didn't die. That's the most important. Now so we're just running. We're not going to kill anybody. Like I won't kill 
any more enemy until the end, until the last boss. Wow, I took a lot of damage. That's not a good thing. The good thing is I still can turn in quests while being down, as long as I open the menu before being down. So that helps for this part. And being down right there is not a problem because it allows me getting the the face jump reloaded. So I can do this and skip all the enemies. So if there's any donation you can Yep, but uh, no donations. Okay. <laughs> I think we'll have no shortlist for tonight. So we're close to the ending now? We're already close to the ending. Okay. There's um, one, two, three quests and they are pretty short. So that quest is kind of funny. Oh my god, the troll. Please don't kill me. So that quest is kind of funny because um, you actually I'll have to activate free console and they are really really far away from each other uh, but well there's something really dumb in the game but you can activate the same console three times uh, you, the only thing you have to do is just save and, save and quit between uh, well every time you activate it so I'm going to activate that one and the other ones are really far away so it's better to save warp and go to the exact same console It's way faster. And the game doesn't understand that. Uh, right now, I'm just going to, well, do that again like two times because there's nothing else to do here. It's literally the, the summary quest. In a casual playthrough, you would be running on, on the map and it takes a lot of time actually. There's a lot of strong enemies here that I can't even kill. Well, it would take me a lot of time. I also use the fieldwork late for one reason is it's just because using an early um, makes me have to finish the, the path by feed and well there's few enemies right there that can deal a lot of damage so it's way better to keep the field walk for the, uh, the end of that path instead of the game oh god that's not good wow 63 hp one bullet and i was dead Now I'll just go back uh, inside the Crimson uh, for uh, fastness and activate the echo. After that, it's just go to the vault. So we've got ten dollars by Anonymous. He says, "Xbox 360 Master Race. Sorry for not being able to attend and completely ruin your run in Carex. Also, when's Dungeon Defenders?" Who donated? Anonymous. <sighs> it's hip fire. It is hip fire. So how much are we up to now? Oh. In donation. Good job. Yes. Deal a lot of damage. Are serious. It's better to say warp. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> what happened? Nah, he yeah, put a question mark in the middle of his sentence. <laughs> That's very far away from Shirtless. I'm going back inside the, the, the fastness for one reason is when I quit while taking the quest, it won't give me the next story quest. So I, I literally have no story quest. So I have to go back inside the fastness just to unlock the quest to the vault. Otherwise I'm just talking and I can't finish the game. So 
So right now I'm just going to well phase walk all the time to the vault. Thank you, Hipfire, also known as Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Are all the Anonymous people Hipfire? <laughs> there is no time left. You must reach the vault by any means necessary. We will not get another opportunity at this life. Is Anonymous her best donator? <laughs> Got it. The hourglass is on the last few grains of sand. You must well, this is pretty much the last quest before the last boss. You just have to walk there, right? I just have to walk. There's this area and another one, and after that it's the vault. And the vault it means last boss. Yeah, so it's just running and shooting. Well, last boss should be uh, not a problem anymore, but it can go bad, obviously. I don't think I'll have any problems on the last boss, but the last boss is pretty intense actually. Uh, normally I should have no problems, like the only way I have to die is one part of the next area because uh, the end of the next area there's one part where um, you can't phase walk and avoid enemies because your face walk would be reloading and the enemies right there can pretty much kill you that that, uh, that doesn't often happen that happens 20% of the time but it's possible oh wow Okay, I can say it. That never happened before. Another one? Another one? Yes, seriously. I never died there, actually. This is literally the first time I died before the ending part. How many do we have so far? Four? Five only for you. Congratulations. <laughs> this is the RNG! Uh, right here we have... We have ten dollars from Kiru Chu. He says, "Hey ESA, I find you much more comfy that, than GDQs. Thanks for the entertainment. Please make sure you keep Polystar hydrated this year. Love you all." Well, for the quality, I don't know if it's right there right now, but at least I hope the next run will be way better. <laughs> well, there's less energy in Half-Life, right? There's Mass Effect first, though. Oh, there's Mass Effect first. I forgot it. Sorry. Well, Mass Effect, is it energy dependent? <laughs> it's out of bounds, I think, so... Well, for any over energy dependent game, I think I took all the bad energy, so it should be okay for the next yes round. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, if Kanjo is not there, I, I think it can only go well. <laughs> so, hashtag blame Kanjo. Okay, so I'll wait the last moment to use my field walk there. One last hit. Oh! No. oh. <laughs> now I should have used my my first walk earlier, but you pressed it right as you were going down. Though. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I saw the mortar shot, uh, I pressed that. I tried to press that, but it was already too late. And it's going to happen exactly the same thing away uh, again. Like, uh, no, I'll do it here. So right now the problem is, I use my fiddle right now to try to survive because it's pretty dangerous, but right there, I can die. Do I have time for another donation? Yeah, you can. So we've got $20 uh, from Body Leakage. He says, looking forward to seeing all the awesome rounds. It's always neat to see gaming for good. Loves, loves what you guys are doing. Keep it all. Raise your cappers. Oh 
so the great thing right now is uh, because I died at the end, I actually have to go again to that part where I take a lot of damage, and I again I have to try to survive at the end. So that's exactly why I hate this part. <laughs> that Kappa raid. Okay, this is the last area. So, a little funny fact uh, if you quit and reload your save ex exactly when you change area, you can actually move during the cutscene, so hello, I'm jumping. <laughs> what? <laughs> hello? Uh, what the? Okay. But the, the main trick with this is just to actually to move normally to the fast travel so I can respect. So I'm doing it without camera but just with the, the bottom compass. So I guess th the tentacle thing is the boss. So that thing is the last boss. <laughs> okay, why am I? Oh. Okay, respect to full damage spec. Uh, I'm taking hits while being into the menu, seriously. So, all those things just give damage, plus this that gives me more shield because it's safer. And the strat is basically shoot and survive. Basically survive. shoot and survive. That sounds kind of. It's mostly survive all? because I have to take care of all the things about you. So what do you do? Okay, now this is the important part where I have to throw grenades. Oh my god. I can't throw grenades toss, this is really bad. Okay, it's really going to be hard. But I'm going to try it. Okay, it's going very well. I might not have enough ammo, but that's not a problem because the boss dropped ammo uh, for the last phase. I'm not destroying all the tentacles because even if they attack me, it's also the only way I have to, uh, well, have a second win. So it's really important to get them away. That's exactly why it is important. Oh, no. Fourteen, twelve, ten, eight, six, four, two, zero. No! So that's why you have uh, an SMG for the end. <laughs> and done. Time. Yay! Good job. That was really hard. <laughs> Like that's two bosses that are really close to death, about, and I have no more <laughs> ammo. Wow. You did well, and your actions haven't gone unrewarded. And it's still underestimated, so that's why the estimate is that big. Sure yeah. So did we fall behind, or did, are we still in the estimate? We're in the estimate, but I don't know because of the crash if. We are not late on planning uh, the schedule. I felt no, like we were going to minutes. with all the things that's happened. Do we have the time to show the uh, intro cutscene or not? But check me out. <laughs> no, what I mean, oh, uh, because of the crash, maybe we're a little bit behind the schedule, right? Yeah, but I think uh, they can answer you, not me. The tech crew. Well, they are not really answering right now, so. <laughs> Uh, do I have the time to show the intro cutscene or not? Because of the crash, maybe we lost uh, 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure Flicky was like being behind is not a bad idea, so. Last time we came in, he was like. I'm 
I'm pretty sure you have more. Uh, you have some time, yeah. Okay. So, I'm sorry. I have to go back to Windows for that. For one reason, actually, um, we removed the files for uh, the cutscene because um, it takes time, and when we do runs, we will the cutscene are not important. You can skip them by using options, uh, but this this is a faster way to skip all the cutscenes. So that's why we remove all the f all the cutscenes. So I'm literally uh, just bringing back the the files on the game. Not only I don't have to restart it, hopefully. We'll see. Maybe I have to restart it. So, you want to hear a story, huh? I have that All intro too. Treasure hunters. <laughs> <laughs> have I, I like the intro in the Borderlands 2. That one is awesome. This is our home, but make no mistake. This is not a planet of peace and love. They say it's a wasteland, that it's dangerous, that only a fool would search for something of value here. Then perhaps I am a fool. But do not be fooled by what Pandora appears to be. There was a legend. Many people tell it. The legend of the vault. The worst God My scene. father would always go on oh, about the, the worst vault, God even scene. with his dying friend. <laughs> There's actually Advanced three cutscenes on the technology. Yeah. Yeah. Infinite world. There's that cutscene that just well explains the story. There's women. the so you title cutscene, and there's the heroes, one where you just go out of the doors, to but yeah. this one is totally useless. Well, I have a story you may not believe, I but I'll tell you it is true. The story pretty well. The Legend of the Vault is real, We've seen it ten times. It is here we prefer to uh, remove the files instead of use the no video option, the because the no video removes all the loadings, the uh, it removes many things. And it makes the game right a bit ugly. On Pandora, with the brave vault hunters, the guardian angel, and most importantly, me. And the I think I prefer Borderlands 2 intro. I more badass. I prefer this one just for the music because this is my favorite music. And there we go. This was Borderlands. Don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and no. uh, I just have to finish that cutscene before Start being able to go back. Bus. What? You don't have any reason Out of four. But I need you to believe that I need to guide you. Um, but I, I can also try Alt and F4. Well, actually, it doesn't like that. <laughs> it crashed the game. <laughs> there you go. Borderlands bad ending.
that's the best ending part. <laughs> so next up we have Mass Effect 2 run by Tentacle Pine. And for the during this run uh, there will be 